Evolution is a magical thing. The need to survive turns the weak into the strong. And if you're looking for a good example, forget the apes and take a look at Mitsubishi. This, its humble Lancer, was just another saloon in an already overcrowded territory. You'd never have backed its chances for long-term survival. But in 1992, in Evo form, nearly 250 horsepower grabbed it a foothold in life. It was the first of a long line. The Evo 2 quickly followed, and by 1995, we already had the Evo 3. A new body shell heralded the arrival of Evo 4, and by then, a fervent cult of supporters had developed, eagerly awaiting each new development of the car. In January 98, we had the Evo 5, and a year later, the Evo 6. Years of adapting to the harsh environments of the World Rally Championship have seen it take four driver's titles in the last five years. And this year, the Evo 6 once again leads the way. To its loyal followers, the only possible rival could be its successor. Well, the next phenomenon is here. Tommy Macken won't get his new company car until the middle of the year, but we've got it now. It seemed impossible to develop the Evo 6 any further. So the Mitsubishi boffins switched to a body shell based on the Lancia Cedia, but we shall know it as Evo 7. Theory says that the breed should be improved again. If it isn't, then Darwin will be spinning in his grave. The car may be slightly bigger, but the first thing that strikes you is that the brutal looks have been somewhat diluted. But the driving experience certainly hasn't. Well, on first impressions, the 7 is just as much fun as the 6. These cars are all about the survival of the fittest. Their performance is staggering. 60 comes up in about four and a half seconds. Now, this Evo 7 has got no more power than the 4, 5 and the 6. They've all had 280 bhp, but it has got a bit more torque low down, so it'll pull out of corners at lower revs. And I've now got this new active differential with three settings for tarmac, gravel or snow. If you're tempted, then Mitsubishi dealers will have them in September. But Grey importers are offering them right here, right now, for about £27,500. Of course, the Evo 7 isn't the only Japanese four-door saloon that's been quietly evolving, because its old rallying nemesis, the Subaru Impreza, never lets it get ahead. And their latest 280 horsepower WRX STI is due here at the end of the year. If you want one before that, you'll have to go grey. In these wet conditions on a racetrack, it really is hard to pick a winner between the two. But I certainly feel I've moved upper class in this Subaru cabin. I much prefer the dials, the trim levels are much more quality feel about them and I just love looking out over that famous Subaru power bulge. No active differential to play with but a six-speed gearbox which slots home really neatly and the same four-wheel drive rally inspired awesome grip levels. The Subaru tends to understeer a little bit more than the Mitsubishi. It's not quite so sharp. But of course, if you go left and then right, it'll go sideways. The WRX STI does cost around £2,500 more than the Evo 7. And I look forward to a full test when the official imports arrive. But on first impressions, I'll take the Subaru.